Climate change is in the news. The Welsh Government has declared a climate emergency and the evidence is now overwhelming. Unless we make radical changes to our way of life, we're going to be suffer suffering catastrophic challenges in the near future. As the climate changes, the quality of our environments will be in decline. And as a result, the quality of our life will also decline. So we need to make time now to plan and look at how we can adapt to deal with the changes that we know are coming. We've just published the draft State of Natural Resource report. In here, we look at the evidence about what's happening in the environment, and we look at the options of how we can deal with future changes. The State of Natural Resources report is part of our statutory responsibility. We've just produced the interim report that is a pointer towards the second major report that will land at the end of this year. Now it feels that this is a particularly important time to be producing the interim report. We all recognise that we are in a nature and a climate emergency. We recognise that we are degrading ecosystems through the way we alter habitats, because of invasive species, because of factors such as pollution, including climate change, and because we don't have the correct balance between the way we use our natural resources and the way we protect them. Sonar brings together evidence from a whole range of sources. That includes what's coming, for example, from the State of Nature report produced by environmental NGOs and others that shows us that something like 40% of the species in Wales are declining and almost 10% are at risk of disappearing altogether. All of this is absolutely crucial. The environment is not only the bedrock of our economy, but it's at the heart of the way we live our lives. It's fundamental to our well-being both now and, of course, into the long future. So while we are active economically in Wales, we have to balance the exploitation and the protection of natural resources better. The interim report advocates two principal solutions, one of which is around developing green infrastructure that includes restoring some of the ecosystems that we've damaged, and the second major element is around the circular economy, how we re use resources far more widely. And both of those things in combination do imply the way we alter our behaviours everywhere from the way individuals act right the way up to the way institutions act. That of course includes Natural Resources Wales. So the Sonar report informs government policy. It helps us choose the options that will help us to deal with the challenges we know that are coming. For example, if we re-green our environments and plant more trees, this will help in cooling the environment, trapping carbon, improving our air quality and reducing the risk of floods. It also gives us opportunities for people to um, go out, walk, get healthy, and just generally improves the quality of our life. As a society, we have to stop our current rate of natural resource use, where we mine things out of the environment, produce goods, use them, and then throw them away. What we're trying to do is create a more circular economy, where we reduce our consumption, reuse the things that we've produced, refurbish them, and then at the end of their life, recycle them fully. NRW is pivotal to this endeavour. As our Chief Executive Claire Pillman has said, if not now, then when? If not us, then who? Your actions individually, our actions corporately, are crucial to the way we move forward in looking after the environment in Wales. So please take a look at our draft sonar report on our web pages. Our staff are currently working hard with partners, looking at the evidence and the options. Uh, if you have any information or evidence you think would help us in our assessments, please get in touch. We're particularly keen to hear from people working in the health sector or the social care sector where we have a relative shortage of evidence. So we are facing a climate change emergency, but with increasing uh, awareness and action being taken across all sectors, from government right down to individual, we do have a chance to deal with this problem now reduce the impact it's going to have and pick the right options to maintain our quality of life into the future.